I hope you're doing well. You just saw me mixing up some paints. I'm going to mix my last cup of paint up and um, I'll go over all the colors here in a minute. I am doing a different recipe on this video. I made enough to do maybe a couple of videos with this recipe. I saw somebody else use it. I had to adjust it ever so slightly because I didn't have one of the ingredients, so I used something comparable. So I don't know if it'll work or not, but um, it was one person's recipe, and then this, this style of pour that I'm getting ready to do is called a, an, an infinity pour. And I don't, I don't know who started it, but the channel that I saw it on YouTube was on Mixed Media Girls' channel, Marcy. Uh, I saw it on her channel on YouTube, and so I think she was using it from somebody else's creation. So whoever started the Infinity Pour, this is a shout out to you because I don't know who you are. There's so many people doing acrylic pours today, it's hard to keep up with who originated what style of painting so we just have to all be gracious and share 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 so my last color i'm mixing up with the pouring medium and i'm adding water i'm using distilled water today which i typically do not use as well so i put it in a different bottle than my regular red squeeze bottle that has water with floetrol in it so this is straight out distilled water which i yeah, well, I never use distilled water for my pours, so this will be interesting to see how this pour turns out. So the recipe I'm using today, while I'm finishing up stirring this color, in this bottle, I used a bleach bottle that's cleaned out, 40% Floetrol, 40% Polycrylic by Minwax, and the gloss, I didn't have that, so I'm using Minwax Polyurethane One Coat, which is, I think, kind of the same thing. It's a little bit thicker. And 15% glue all and 5% distilled water. So that's the pouring medium that was in this jug. And with each color, I did one part paint to three parts pouring medium. Oh, so yeah, I use glue all. Don't use the washable glue. You have to use the glue all. The washable glue is not strong enough. And of course, Floetrol, latex based. So those were the ingredients. But again, I used, for this one, I used one coat polyurethane. I finished up a can. I didn't have the Minwax Polyacrylic Gloss here at the studio. I do have it at home. So I just used what I had on hand. So the colors that I mixed today are going to be what I call the cool colors versus the warm colors. And then I decide to throw in a pop of metallics in black and white. The black and white is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic always. I use those with all of my pores, mixed one to one with Floetrol and then I add water. But then this recipe that I showed you is in these colors. And so this is Artist Loft Old Gold, Deco Art Metallic. This is Antique Bronze. This one is Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue. This one is Master's Touch Rouge. Or Rouge. Liquitex Basics Prism Violet. This one is Soho primary yellow. I'm going to use very little of that, but I did mix up a little, a little cup of it. Then I mixed my own orange and my own red just with leftover paints from tubes, just you know, mixing and matching. So they're you know, a little bit of everything mixed together. So there's not one brand and not one specific color. <coughs> so these are the warms, these are the cools, and these are my metallics. I'm going to use the black with the warms and the white with the cools. And I'm going to do an infinity pour, which is like a kiss pour, but it's done in circles. I've never tried this before. I'm, I'm pretty spastic, so we'll see how well this goes. 
I'm somehow not as coordinated with my left hand as I am my right hand. I'm very right-handed specific. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do the cool colors first. I'm going to do an 11 by 14 canvas. So I, need, I want at least 8 ounces of paint. So these are 8 ounce cups. So I'm going to do at least a half a cup of each of these, the cools and the warms. So I'm going to do, and I am, I'm not really trying to do it in a layered pour. I'm just going to put in some colors, kind of like a dirty pour. I've already got a bunch of paint already. Like I put in too much from the get-go. I'll put another shot of white into that. So there's my cool colors. This one will be the warms. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Start with a little black. I'll go ahead and just put a dip of yellow. I'm all thumbs today. Orange. Black. Put this, uh, this bronze is very muted. Some bronzes I don't care for, some I like better. This one is a little bit kind of taupey colored. It's kind of weird. The old gold is so-so on my range of metallic golds. Put a little bit more yellow in there. I know the orange is going to be strong, but I'm going to put a little bit more. And then a shot of black. So dirty pores in both cups. Get my drips up. I'm already making a mess before I even start pouring my canvas. So again, this is just a different recipe. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. Uh, if I, I don't think I would use it a lot. Because I think if you did a bunch of pours with it, it could get expensive using the polycrylic menwax in the pouring medium. I'm just thinking out loud. No silicone or OGX is in any of these colors. I got so many bubbles there. That's weird. So it's having its own little cellular reaction just right in the cup. All right, so y'all don't laugh at me because, like I said, I'm a little bit spastic with my left hand. So this is going to totally cover the canvas because I've got way more paint than I need. So I'm going to try to pour these at the same time. Here we go. And this is not the way she did it at all. I don't know how she did it. But anyway, it was supposed to be in circles. <laughs> totally supposed to be in circles, and that didn't happen at all. So we'll see. If I like this pour, Color-wise, I'm going to do, my next video is going to be using the same colors, but if I want to adjust the colors, I will adjust it on the next one. So there's already some little cells going on with no silicone or OGX in it. So I'm going to have a lot of runoff on this one for sure.
I guess I need to just go ahead and tilt. This is going to be a messy one, I can tell. So, like I said, Mixed Media Girl did it. That's the, she's the one I watched her do this technique. And hers was really pretty. I, I do like this one. The orange and red did not come out as strong as I thought they would, which is kind of surprising. Just making sure my edges are covered. You always try to make sure to pick up paint on your puppy pad that is the same color as your corner. All right, so the yellow did not show up. The orange really didn't show up, and that's kind of surprising because orange and yellow, or especially yellow, I mean orange, is really a very prominent color when you use it in pores. I do like the veining going on and the striations of colors. I'm going to bring it up to you. And there is some shimmer with the gold and the bronze. So I'm going to bring it up. So it's pretty. It's not what I expected. but I like it. So this one is a 12 inch canvas. I'm going to use the same cups and I don't, I don't need as much paint but I'm going to add more white this time. I'm leaving the bronze. I'm leaving the bronze out. So now I'm going to do the black one. More yellow this time. More orange. So still way more paint than I need. So I think just keeping them in conjunction with each other is a better way to do it. That went better in a circular fashion. Sometimes you just got to get your groove on. Amazing how the yellow did not really show up that much again. It kind of looks like an entangled tree. That's kind of cool. I'm going to leave it that way. Very different looking from what I typically pour.
All right. I think I'm going to leave it like that. So once again, the yellow did not show up. The orange is really not there much either. And I didn't use the bronze, but I used the metallic gold. So there's not as much shimmer in this one as there was in the last one. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're a subscriber, click on the bell in the bottom right hand corner and you'll get notifications when I post new videos. I always appreciate your support. I'm always very grateful for those that follow me regularly and for those that are new that come to my page. I'd love for you to check out more of my videos. I've got well over 500 videos to uh, help you learn how to pour. And I, um, I have some links below my video if you want to check them out. There's uh, PayPal, Patreon, Instagram, my Facebook group if you want to come over and post pictures in my Facebook group and get some great encouragement from other artists. There is the Amazon recommendations link where you can uh, look for products that I use under my video here. And I have the new platform for online tutorials for those of you that would like to learn how to paint with acrylics traditionally with paint brushes and learn how to do art different from acrylic pouring that is. <clears throat> I've been an artist for 20 years so my heart is in teaching and sharing with others how to do art and to become an artist. So check that link out and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.